Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro editing tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload a video to YouTube. So, what we've got here, we've got our web browser open, as well as our Windows Explorer file, which contains our videos which you want to upload. In our uh, Internet Explorer, we're going to go to YouTube. Open up YouTube. Now it's important that we have a YouTube account. So if you don't have a YouTube account, um, you have to sign in and then create one up the top right hand corner here. If you have one, uh, you'll already be logged in. Then all we do is click on the upload button, which is just beside the search bar. And then it, um, it you haven't uploaded anything before. This is a fresh, um, account that I have here. So I have never uploaded a video to this account before. So it'll go upload as Kyle Martin and then um, you can just click OK and that will bring you to the upload page. On the upload page now, it basically you can either click to select um, your video clips to upload or if you have them open somewhere else you can simply select one or multiple video files and then click and drag them into the um, uh, into the uh, into the, uh, the Internet Explorer there. And then you will see the progress bar, bar and it will begin to upload. Um, you'll get the, th the multiple video clips down here as well as a total progress bar for the overall multiple uploads you're doing at the top. In the um, Underneath each video, you are able to change the title, change the add a description about the video. It's important that you always add a description of the video because it is used um, when people are searching for your videos. So if you have write a good description about it, it makes it uh, more likely to pop out in, up in searches, as well as to tag it using appropriate um, keywords down here. And the new thing that YouTube is doing is you have to separate them with commas not just spaces. If you separate them to spaces, it will look for all the keywords as a single phrase and you're probably not getting many hits on that. So just separate your keywords with commas. And then um, the other option over here you have on the right is whether or not the video is immediately public or if it's private or unlisted. Now public means that the video is public. It'll show up in searches on YouTube. When someone searches for something similar to what your video is, it'll probably pop up in the search results. Unlisted means that the video is on YouTube and publicly available, but it will never show up in the search results. So to um, share it, if you share the link to it, anyone with the link will have access to the video, but it will not show up in search results. So it's a good way if you want your video just to be seen by your friends, you can unlist it and then just send them the link and then they'll be able to see it, but no one else will ever find it. And the third option is private. This basically means that the video is available only to you on your YouTube channel. Um, one thing you can do is you can upload videos as private and then release them or change them from private to public on the on a certain day. So if you say want to upload 15 videos one day but not have them all go public right away, you can change them um, on set days from private to public. So kind of like a release schedule. Uh, you also have the category that it fits into and um, lots of other options. Now, as you can see, the video progress hasn't changed. So just be patient. It's not broken. Something isn't wrong. Uploading videos takes a long time. Normally, if I'm going to upload a lot of videos, I load them at night, I go to sleep, and then when I wake up in the morning, all my videos will be up on YouTube. All right, so now as you can see, all three of our videos have um, been uploaded and they're all completed. And then on some of my videos, on this first one at least, there's a little um, blue box that's popped up that says, YouTube has detected a way to improve your video's lighting and stability and would you like to enhance it? Now right now, I'm not going to um, do anything with it. I'm not going to click yes, I would. I'm actually going to go into um, some of the YouTube editing we can do actually within YouTube and we'll play around with that a little bit just weren't done. But if we want to go to the videos page, we can see that it will play back just fine. 
All right. like on YouTube just like that. So these videos are taken directly off of the GoPro camera. They're unedited. Nothing's been done with them. They have the recorded format from the GoPro, and they've just been uploaded straight onto um, YouTube. So let's go now in YouTube. We will go to our video manager, which is clicking on, and we can see that we have these three videos lined up in our um, video uploads. So from within our video manager, we can do some pretty cool stuff. We can, um, first off, just if you hit edit on any one of these video clips, you'll be taken um, directly to the page where you can edit all of these settings uh, of that video, so title, description, tags, whether the video is public or private, as well as um, on the top here, a little bit more of advanced and kind of more video editing kind of like things. Uh, so if you click on enhancements here, we can do some simple stuff. One of them would be if you wanted to, this video is actually taken upside down and it wasn't flipped before uploading so it's very simple now once it's on YouTube to simply rotate the video twice and get it um, right way up. We can do some other cool things. Um, if you want to even click down here on the right hand corner you'll see one that says try the uh, YouTube video editor. If you click on that you'll be taken to a, a new page which is actually a uh, a kind of lightly powered video editing system and you have all the clips you've uploaded here and then you'll have a timeline down below where you can put the video clips into so if you want to put your three video clips together you could drag them into the um, timeline like this and then um, make that into a video and you can do lots of things inside here you can select what parts of the video is um, actually used. You can choose uh, how much the video is taken and they're very very powerful. I'm not going to get too much into the YouTube video editor here but it's something you can definitely play around with and then when you're done you hit publish and it will be saved as a, um, a third video. So now if we go back to our video manager or our fourth video we can see that we have the three videos we've uploaded as well as the um, the fourth video we've created. So it, um, once you have your videos onto YouTube. There's lots of editing you can do within YouTube and um, it just makes it a little bit easier than trying to edit all your videos before you upload them or if you've uploaded one that's not quite perfect you can kind of tweak it a little bit once it's up and um, still not have to re-upload it. So that's it guys. We took a video that was shot directly from our YouTube uh, from our GoPro camera. We uploaded it to YouTube and we just kind of played around a little bit with the settings on YouTube and we saw how it is possible to take a video directly off of the GoPro camera and just upload it straight onto YouTube and then view it on, on YouTube. So thank you guys for watching this is a GoPro tips and tricks video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure you check out my channel for lots more videos. Subscribe and until next time, thank you guys for watching.